Tonight we start with the story of a young El Paso woman who lost her battle with COVID-19, but not before giving birth to her baby girl. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Natasha Paloma. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Capps spoke with her family this evening. Her family members calling her a hero for saving her baby girl. Knowing she never got to hold her, that was the worst part. Um, she loved her so much. We knew she did because she gave her life for her, obviously. El Pasoan Kimberly Ayala speaking about her sister Jacqueline, who was just 22 years old. Now, Jacqueline was eight months pregnant with her first child when she was hospitalized with COVID-19 in November. Doctors doing an emergency C-section, but Jacqueline never regained her strength and passed away a few weeks later. As weeks went by, she just got it getting got worse, and um, then they. She went into respiratory or cardiac respiratory arrest and she couldn't breathe. Her heart stopped. Jacqueline's husband, Juan Pablo Morales Orozco, says his newborn daughter is what's getting him through. I've been able to take her home, hold her, and sleep with her. She has been a strength. She's the one carrying me instead of me carrying her. Morales saying the two had only been married for a little over a year and were over the moon when they found out they were pregnant. I'm going to give myself completely to my daughter, and I'm going to try to be the best husband in the world for Jacqueline to fulfill her dreams because she was the best wife in the world. 